indeed the sponsors who we appreciate the work they are doing to the less fortunate in the society taking advantage of the young girls and probably even the young boys because uh, it is not just the, 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 the girl child but also the boy child in that danger. Mr. Speaker, I want to believe that investigations going on will yield to fruits and may the suspect uh, be put where he belongs, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I, don't, I, don't, I truly don't understand whether anybody no more would do that to us, a child of another parent, bearing in mind that person also has or has children. Uh, if, if it was done to, to him, uh, how would that person feel, Mr. Speaker? So this is a very, very sad situation. And as, as a people's representative, it is not, Dange is just an example. I, uh, my colleague here, Honorable Bishop, has spoken of other places, Mr. Speaker. And as a people's representative and also an oversight body, uh, we shall move and ensure that in our respective wards, if anything uh, uh, is reported, we bring it here. And in fact, Mr. Speaker, when it is found that it is the truth and when the, the culprit uh, will be put in, we should shame and name them. We should name and shame those persons. So that even where they are passing by, anywhere, even dogs, we know that these people are dangerous. They can even, I mean, I don't know. Uh, and sometimes there are these things called Samantha. If, I don't know what, sometimes, why can somebody go and buy that and deal with it accordingly? Very hot. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Article 28 of the Constitution of Kenya upholds human dignity and therefore protects everyone from conduct that takes away one's dignity, such as sexual harassment, in the national instruments, forms part of the Kenya laws in the Articles 2, but 6 of the Kenya Constitution. In this context, such a statement needs to be treated with a lot of weight. When you look at the same Constitution, Article 8, sub Article 1, it outlines the acts which are taken as the offenses of sexual harassment and especially where it involves a child. And uh, this is a matter which seems, seems to be traversing the whole county. It is not only in Dange. We had a similar case in Elema. We had a similar case in Kilumbu. We had a similar case in other areas like Mapindini. This, I have collected this information being the chair of uh, delegated uh, legislation. And some of these matters come to our no uh, notice. But the way they are handled within the county government, it is a bit uh, wanting. Mostly, people will try to cover. Others seek out of court uh, settlement. And they don't even match and uh, look at the content of what effect this child will suffer in the future. When a parent accepts to be coerced and they give them little coins and they cover the matter, it becomes more weighty because the life of that child has been affected and they put down, trodden in the rest of their life. So, Mr. Speaker, as a house, we need to raise our voice against the defilement of children within our account. I, as a person, I am totally against and I strongly condemn such an act. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir. We are going to wait for the response of that statement, Mr. Speaker. And as women in this house, Mr. Speaker, I urge them, if we are not going to get adequate uh, answer, Mr. Speaker, we are going to march to the honey, Mr. Speaker, and address ourselves, Mr. Speaker. Because, Mr. Speaker, this is not acceptable. There's a mother, huh? I feel it. I feel it. Eh? Such a, a big man doing such acts. That is inhuman, Mr. Speaker. I wish that child was mine. We could have gone far, Mr. Speaker. And Mr. Speaker, we are going to take it on our hands. We are not going to allow that. Mr. Speaker, there are several cases in Mabweni County, Mr. Speaker. And Mr. Speaker, you will allow us as an assembly, because we are the oversight arm of the government, if the DCI is not going to give us the, the, the correct answer, we are going to walk to Dangi and visit that school 
And Mr. Speaker, we are going to raise our voice because Mr. Speaker, we cannot allow this to continue. Thank you, Speaker. We should therefore clarify the following. One, whether, whether the department is aware of the case of a member of the school management having implemented a student at the same Chiara Secondary School and, and the, the actions are taken on the same. Number two, Honorable Speaker, whether the department is aware of the suspension of the four students of the school for part participating in a demonstration to, to agitate for the protection of their rights and guarantee of their security. If yes, what action has, has the department taken to ensure the students are taken back to school to continue with their learning? What is the guarantee of the security of the victim and our, our family considering the matter is under, is under investigation and the perpetrator is at large? Whether well, the private hospital where the abortion uh, procedure was undertaken is licensed by the national or county government to carry out such services as abortion, and if yes, the speaker, what are the set conditions to be met before such procedures are undertaken? Provide the licensing documents. Number five, Mr. Speaker, whether the department is aware of the alleged sexual exploitation of the school girls by the sponsors, and what action has been as the department taken to address the issues? Last time, the speaker, but not the least, the speaker, to provide the update, update reports of the DCA on the investigation on the reported case of implementing the school girl and causing her to, her to perform an illegal abortion. Subject matter is not a function of the national government. The subject matter here is not syllabus. The subject matter here is not a teacher's responsibility to apply to the national government. The subject matter is the welfare and protection of the rights of the children of this country. And the constitution of Kenya obliges every one of us, whether elected or not, to uphold, protect and defend the constitution. And we focus on the minority, the marginalized, and in this case, children. So if this is to go by, then the continue. You better fold your sleeves. If you cannot protect the minority, I do not think whether you will have time to keep them more. Therefore, their safe space must be guaranteed. Uh, the elections are so given seven days. The day like today, on Tuesday, Monday at 2.30, you should propose to file responses from the respective offices.